car shop. <laughs> yeah, well, next time your car's in the shop, get someone else's chauffeur you around. Oh, man. The smell brings back memories. If only I could remember them. <laughs> remember your rehab. Hey, I'm cool, man. The only thing I miss about drinking was all the fun I used to have in bars. And being drunk all the time. <laughs> I guess I miss that most of all. Hey, you're Jackie Thomas, right? Yeah. Couldn't you just die? <laughs> hey, go make your call, man. I gotta do the whole star autograph thing. All right. Hey, I saw him first. All right. Here we go. Okay. Now, I know what you guys all want, so form a line, and everyone gets one till my hand gives out. <laughs> You know, I never expected to see you in a bar like this. Well, make no mistake about it, buddy. I'm not here for the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Lips that touch wine will never touch mine. <laughs> That's a good policy, buddy. <laughs> oh. Jackie? Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Jackie? Jackie? Hey, hey, Jackie, wait, you know, why don't we use a phone up the street, huh? You haven't made that call yet? Hey, I'm not gonna wait on you, man. Who wants to give me a ride home? Oh, no. <laughs> Jackie. opinion on one line? Sure. Uh, the one with the hair is Aunt Bertha. <laughs> what do you think? Is that, is that a setup line or is that a punchline? Well, I'm not sure yet. Well, it would help if I knew what came before it. Well, we haven't finished that part yet, Jerry. All right, okay. <laughs> Take your time. This is just a sample script. There's no rush. You know, I don't need this kind of pressure. <laughs> Anybody read Laura's script? Yeah, you know, she only let me read one line. You name your warts? <laughs> the one with the hair is Aunt Bertha? <laughs> It was funnier when I didn't get it. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this. The king of comedy is a queen. Jackie Thomas's secret gay life? <laughs> America's biggest homophobe gets outed. There is a god. What are you so happy about? I'm not gay. I'm politically correct. Read on. Uh, smiling Jackie announced his willingness to go home with anyone infuriating his lover, Bobby. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What? We just found out how you got your job. Oh, no. Now it makes sense. Mm. You and Jackie slept with me just to get back at each other. <laughs> oh. I feel so used. Oh, oh. Gag? Look at how I dress. <laughs> you know, if anyone around here is gay, it's Grant. Hey, hey, well, hey, great news. I'm the new spokesman for Man of War Sporting Goods. They gave me a bunch of ski equipment, tennis rackets, jogging suits, and hats. You guys get the hats. <laughs> what is this, a new Global Enquirer? What did I do this week? Sleep with an alien? Worse, Bobby. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. 
Oh, I love it. <laughs> Don't print anything. So wait, wait, wait. You, you, you're not upset? Huh. Everybody knows there's no gay people in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> now, me fathering that two-headed goat, that hurt, because, you know, I could get a date for a month after that. <laughs> Jackie, it's not real. I know that. Ta -da. What's this? My script. Oh. I've only finished it. Oh, great. <laughs> you can read it whenever you have a minute. Okay. Since it's 15 minutes until run through, I thought maybe you could read 15 minutes of it now, and I'll just stop talking so you can go ahead and read. <laughs> well, Harper, we have ourselves a problem. Half our sponsors and every reporter in town wants to know, is it true? That your lips are never far from someone's butt? It's true, Doug. <laughs> I meant if America's favorite dad is a... Midnight Cowboy. <laughs> the network takes this very seriously. So where is the big sissy? He's right behind you, Doug. Whom I respect more than anyone in this industry. <laughs> Jackie! <clears throat> Jackie, hi. You know, the network thinks it might be a good idea for us to put together a little press conference. For what? For what? Well, <laughs> God knows uh, everybody is entitled to his or her own lifestyle. You know, even I tried on my wife's earrings once. <laughs> well, who can do it just once? <laughs> but, uh, you know, how image conscious these sponsors are, and the Frankfurter people have threatened to pull out if you don't clarify whether or not you are, you know. No, what? Okay. Jackie, please, I have a family. I have a daughter with a bad eye. I'm sorry, what was, uh, what was the question, Doug? Never mind. <laughs> hey, Jackie, we'd just like you to know we think it was really crappy what that tabloid did to you. Thanks, man. Well, at least they spelled my name right. I think. You should have been allowed to come out your own way. In your own time. Hey, man, I'm not gay. Neither are we. <laughs> oh, Jackie, I, I need to measure your inseam. Oh, yeah, you just love that, wouldn't you? What? Boy, you're one of them, aren't you? Light in the pants. Me? I'm from Iowa. Oh, OK, go ahead. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks. You're a pussy cat. <laughs> Jackie, come here this instant. We have to talk. Just a minute. Get out of that closet. Pronto. <laughs> Admit it. You're having an affair. I am not. The last thing I'd ever do is fool around with another woman. <laughs> oh, really? Since when do you bowl with pink balls? <laughs> Well, it's dark down there. Some guy must have grabbed my bag by mistake. Oh. All right, cut. Jerry, are you making fun of me because of that tabloid story? No, I'm not. I swear to you, we wrote this script a week ago. It just wasn't funny until today. <laughs> all right, well, let's straighten this whole thing out once and for all. <laughs> Who here thinks I'm gay? Come on, it's okay to be honest. You're fired! Get out! <laughs> Okay, who, who else here thinks I'm gay? It's okay to be honest. Jackie, I got some bad news. That was the lawyer from the Man of War Company, and he said that in light of the recent tabloid, he's gonna go with a different spokesman. Talbot? Yes, sir. Why weren't you on this? Well, I, I want you to call a press conference, and I want you to call one right now. Yes, sir. Damn. I knew that two-headed goat story would come back to haunt me. <laughs> I was thinking about opening up with a joke. Tell me what you think. Yeah. These two fruits, they walk into a pet store, you know? Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Jackie, no, please. <laughs> You've heard it, huh? How about this one? Wait, wait, Jackie, 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 Jackie. I, I think you've got to try to be sensitive to the feelings of gay people. Otherwise, you're going to come off a lot worse. OK. All right? Yeah, OK. okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming. Uh, Mr. Jackie Thomas.
Thank you. Thanks, everybody. I just want to say that uh, uh, homos, fairies, uh, snake handlers, whatever you call them, they're people too. And, uh, and as a matter of fact, I think they should all be given their own homeland. I say we give them Colorado where they can be fruitful and multiply. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie maybe, maybe you should just stick to your main point. I thought that was my main point. No, the Inquirer. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Okay, anyways, you all know what the Global Inquirer said about me, so I'm suing him for $20 million, although I will settle for $1 million, but that's, you know, just between you and me. <laughs> Any questions? So, Jackie, are you categorically refuting their allegations? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dictionary. <laughs> about the subject. So, are you gay or not? <laughs> Finally. I think the best way to answer this is to get a guy up here that knows me inside and out. Bobby, come up here. <laughs> Listen, Bobby and I, we used to live together back in Iowa. If you want to know about my sex life, you ask him. Uh, are you the same Bobby who's nibbling on Jackie's ear in the picture? Yes, it's I'm the same exact guy. You know what? It's Bobby's idea to go to that gay bar in the first place. <laughs> if I was going to have sex with a man, it wouldn't be Jackie, all right? Hey, don't knock it till you try it, buddy. <laughs> right, girls? Get up here. Now, this is what I like. You see that? Big boobs and big butts, just like Mom. Pre precisely, miss, who, who are you? Monica from the Collins Escort Service. And what exactly is your relationship with Mr. Thomas? Oh, we don't have one. We were just paid to stand here. No, that is a lie! These guys were paid for sex! <laughs> You've done nothing but ask questions since you got here, buddy. I want to get you out of here. I'm going to get you. Jerry. Jerry. John? No. Jerry, how do you know when you're having a stroke? <laughs> Is it all done. All done. All right, lie down. Oh, hello. Hey, listen, I know you're real busy with all this Jackie stuff, but I was just wondering if you had had a chance to read my script yet. Uh, yes, actually, I have. And, uh, uh, I have to say, Laura, that it wait, was... Wait, 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 wait. Um, you know, before you start, I just want to say up front that I, I value your opinion. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking for an honest assessment. Uh, no, no sugarcoating, no false praise. You know, just the facts, straight out. Unvarnished, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, where were you? Um, okay, Laura, I have to say it was... Bad. <laughs> Bad as in... Really bad. It needs, it needs a lot of work. I see. Is there anything else about me that you don't like? Uh, am I sensing a little hostility? No, I think you were the one who was hostile, Jerry. No wonder no one will sleep with you. I, I fall for this every time. New writers, they always tell you they want your opinion and all they really want to hear is I love it. It's perfect. Don't change a word. Is that what you really thought? Oh, Laura, listen. <laughs> you know, for a first script, it was really... Not very good. Uh, uh, <laughs> I see what is going on here. It's just because you know me, you're holding me up to some higher standard. Why are you making this personal? Hey, you made this personal when you said you hated me. No, I didn't say I hated you. I said I hated your script. No, I didn't say that. I just, I, you know, it just needs a lot of work. That's all. You gotta work harder. Harder? Yeah. Hard, harder. You yes. want me to work harder yes. on yes. this, Jerry? Yes. You know how yes. hard I've worked on this? I've been working on this script for six months. You're kidding. <laughs> You're just not going to be happy until you make me cry, are you? Wait, wait, Laura, wait a minute. Wait, this, listen, Laura, this is a very fair business. So people who work hard and persevere, they're the ones that get ahead. You know, people who, who expect a, a free ride, they never amount to anything. Hey, I got a million bucks! <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Those tabloid wants to settle after just one day. We're celebrating, so get over to Chuck E. Cheese, okay? And you better bring some money. I don't know if they'll be able to cash this. Come on. stuff I got with my settlement money. Yeah, right. A rock? A rock. 
It's a moon rock. It's a rock from the moon. How can you tell? Because it costs 10 grand, that's how. It's a little light. There's no gravity on the moon. <laughs> that's nothing. Look at this. Oh, my God. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's a gold-plated toilet. <laughs> it's a solid gold toilet, buddy. 24 carats. It's worth its weight in gold. Yeah, and we thought you were just gonna squander your money. <laughs> hey, go ahead, Grant. Sit on it. No, I... I Sit won't. on it! It's not hooked up, though, buddy. Don't make the same mistake I made in the showroom. <laughs> oh, Grant, my bullwinkle's here. Bullwinkle? Not the real bullwinkle, you idiot. I, I bought one of those balloons from the Macy's Parade. <laughs> hey, guys, it looks great. Take it over to my house and watch out for those power lines. <laughs> I filled it up with hydrogen. It's a lot cheaper than helium. Thank you, Laura. Wait a minute. These are for you. Oh, really? Who are they from? Well, isn't this guy one of the producers on Coach? Oh, yeah. Yes, he is. And he's been trying to get a hold of me all day. See, he's going to give me an unbiased critique of my script. Good. Look, I honestly hope that he likes it. What is that, sarcasm? Harper, get over here. Will somebody please tell me what the hell's going on? I haven't been in the papers for over three weeks. I forgot what I look like. Well, your, your tabloid settlement made the front page of the New York Times and the Washington Post. Who reads those rags, man? I'm talking about real paper. <laughs> You know, I chase a naked hooker through a cemetery. Do they print it? No. I get circumcised again. Not a word. My bullwinkle bloom goes up in flames and almost takes out a junior high. Nothing. Well, didn't your settlement specify that the Inquirer stop writing stories about you? Yeah, but I didn't sue these guys yet. Well, it's a chilling effect. They're afraid that you will. Well, I'll sue them for not printing stories about me, Jerry. There's got to be a law against that. <laughs> Listen, man, my fan mail is down by 12 letters this week. Coincidence? I don't think so. Jackie, may I say that I don't think you've ever looked more blatantly heterosexual. Bite me! And I just want to tell you that the network isn't concerned at all about this little drop in ratings. OK, have a nice show. <laughs> Wait, what, what, do you, what drop in ratings? Oh, it's nothing. We just went from fifth to seventh place, that's all. Yeah, but our lead-in was a rerun. No, actually, it was a new episode of Roseanne. <laughs> I know what's going on here, Jerry. Right. I'm not in these tabloids, so people are starting to lose interest in me. You know what they say? Out of my sight, out of my mind. <laughs> Anybody home? I've been expecting you, Mr. Thomas. Sit down. Yeah, that's cool. This seemed nicer than Howard Johnson's. <laughs> you have interfered with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Thomas, and I won't have it! By suing me, you have interfered with the fundamental laws of the universe, Mr. Thomas. My universe and my laws. The laws of celebrity dish. Innuendo, rumors, lies, gossip, scum, and scandal. <gasps> and you have missed it, haven't you? <laughs> For you have been given a rare gift. The uncanny talent of making a total ass of yourself in public. But you need me to deliver your antics to the supermarkets of America, because without me, Mr. Thomas, and the papers I control, you are squat! <laughs> Am I getting through to you, Mr. Thomas? Oh, I'm sorry, were you talking to me? <laughs> sorry. Hey, I gotta ask you a question now. You got a lamp in each one of these chairs here. Wouldn't it be a lot better to use that big giant lamp up there that we could light up the whole area? The reason we settled so easily is because we knew you'd come back. They always come back. Once you figured out that we were no longer going to supply you with free publicity, would you stop staring at that lamp? Okay, go ahead. 
I'll make you the same deal I made Roseanne. Return the money, and you'll be allowed back in our pages. No. No? No. Let me tell you something. You have interfered with my universe, pal. You people survive off sleaze, scuzzbags, and lowlifes. You need me! Am I getting through to you, Mr. Fancy Lamps? Mr. Thomas, we made you, and we can destroy you! But you won't! That'd be like an animal eating their young. Every time I do something crazy, your circulation goes up. I switch toe tags down at the morgue. 100,000 copies. I punch out a nun. Half a million copies. Every time I whiz in public, you come out smelling like a rose. I see we both understand the principles of supply and demand. Well, you don't come out of the slaughterhouse stupid, buddy. Now, here's a list of my demands. You will start printing stories about me, but only after I approve them. And you don't get one dime back. Half the money back and no approval. We have to retain our journalistic integrity. Okay. But you have to give your half to a gay charity. Oh. Hey, I haven't been able to get a decent haircut since that press conference. Neil, <laughs> welcome back to the fold, Mr. Thomas. Roseanne will send you a nasty fax. Unless I just want to say that I'm sorry about uh, what I put you through uh -huh. with my script. Yeah. Um, that I asked for your opinion and you gave it to me and I was awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you forgive me? Please forgive me. You heard from the guy at Coach. Yeah. <laughs> He didn't like it as much as you did. <laughs> Listen, the, the people who should be writers are the people who can't be talked out of it. Well, that's me. Yeah. Now, I'm going to make this happen, because I have this dream that I'm in a supermarket, and I overhear some people talking about something really funny that they heard on TV the night before, and I wrote that line. Yeah. I have the same dream. <laughs> hey, look, everybody. Jackie Thomas, born with both sex organs. <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, Stephanie. Why is Nancy's stepdaughter out there? Oh, the associate producer quit and took Debbie with him. Yeah, again, why is Nancy's stepdaughter out there? Oh, because she slept with Jackie and he promised her a job in television. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. That's typical. He gets lucky and we get a new receptionist. It's a good thing you don't hire that way, Jerry. We'd have a new girl out there every five or six years. <laughs> now, the first order of business is to get ourselves a new associate producer, and mm -hmm. I am right on top of it. The first resume is in already. Ah. This is yours. I really want this job, Jerry, and I know that Jackie will approve it if you do. Hey, you uh, want me to leave the room while you interview her? <laughs> that, won't, that won't be necessary, Bobby. Look, Laura, you know, I I'll think about it, all right? I will think about it. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> 